r slash ask reddit what movie is the best antidepressant cool runnings feel the rhythm feel the rhyme get on up i tease bob's lead time cool runnings hercules always puts me in a good mood honey i think you mean hunkles well bless my soul herc was on a roll hot fuzz any luck catching them swans then it's just the one swan actually what we do in the shadows leave me to do my dark bidding on the internet what are you bidding on i'm bidding on a table galaxy quest or tommy boy galaxy quest is a superb movie i have never come across anyone in physical or digital realms that dislikes it so fun story i found out my friend had not seen galaxy quest i took great delight in getting to show her this movie that i love much i got her a blanket a cat popcorn pulled the curtains so there wasn't a huge glare on the screen more effort than i put into most movie nights she did not laugh once throughout the whole movie which made me nervous but once the movie was over she calmly turns to me and says i remember why i pick the movie now ratatouille my favorite part is ego's review in many ways the work of a critic is easy we risk very little yet enjoy a position over those who offer up their work and their selves to our judgment we thrive on negative criticism which is fun to write and to read but the bitter truth we critics must face is that in the grand scheme of things the average piece of junk is probably more meaningful than our criticism designating it so but there are times when a critic truly risks something and that is in the discovery and defense of the new the world is often unkind to new talent new creations the new needs friends last night i experienced something new an extraordinary meal from a singularly unexpected source. To say that both the meal and its maker have challenged my preconceptions about fine cooking is a gross understatement. They have rocked me to my core. In the past, I have made no secret of my disdain for Chef Gusto's famous motto, anyone can cook, but I realize, only now do I truly understand what he meant. Not everyone can become a great artist, but a great artist can come from anywhere. It is difficult to imagine more humble origins than those of the genius now cooking at Gusto's, who is, in this critic's opinion, nothing less than the finest chef in France. I will be returning to Gusto soon. Hungry for more. Spirited Away feels like therapy in a good way. And the reverse of that would be Grave of the Fireflies. Saddest, most soul-crushing, depressing movie ever by the same studio. That was the first Studio Ghibli movie I watched. Don't ask why I chose that one. I had no guidance. The Princess Bride. The gods must be crazy. Trust me, it's a little obscure but if you look hard enough you just might find it. Oh my god a coke bottle one. I forgot all about that. My parents showed me this when I was around 9. And I thought what the hell. I'm so confused I think if I watched it today I would have the same reaction. Hilarious either way. Airplane. Looks like I picked a bad week to quit sniffing glue. I just want to tell you. Good luck. We're all counting on you. School of Rock is pretty efficacious. I have a hangover. Who knows what that means. It means you're drunk. Wrong. It means I was drunk yesterday. Tucker and Dale vs Evil is absolutely hilarious. The Road to El Dorado. Take your goddamn El Dorado gold. Megamind. You're a villain alright but you're not a super villain. What's the difference? Presentation. One of my favorite scenes ever. They nailed the soundtrack. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And I'll second Life of Brian. I ruined Life of Brian by watching when too depressed. It's really hard to sing along always look on the bright side of life when sitting alone on the floor, in the dark, with no furniture, on Christmas Eve, halfway through a bottle of Firefly Vodka. Spaceballs. Just what we need. A druish princess funny. She doesn't look druish. Might be a weird choice and may not the best but I just watched it a few days ago and it felt incredibly uplifting. Spider-Man. Into the Spider-Verse. It has all a good feel good movie needs. Light hearted and funny parts. Drama. Sadness and desperation to overcome and a happy ending that is very feel good but not cheesy also the music is terrific throughout the movie and extremely well placed. 
I like every song in the movie while consider most really unspectacular when just listening to them. My kids cajoled me into watching this and I was stunned at how much I loved it. Phenomenal film. Clue. I hated her. So. Much. The flames. Flames. On the side of my face. Yes. Just five. Husbands should be like Kleenex. Soft. Strong and disposable. Tropic Thunder. Can't be sad watching Tom Cruise and Robert Downey Jr. on that one. Fat Hand. Bald Tom Cruise dancing is wholesome and lit at the same time. The Blues Brothers is always a ton of fun for me. My neighbor Totoro and Kiki's delivery service double feature. IDK man. Like. Soft agree with you on this one but the last time I watched Totoro I got hit with this overwhelming sense of existential sadness. Viewing such playful childlike fun through a lens of knowing I'll never be able to experience true innocence like that again. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Coming to America. Trading places is another good one you know. Anything Mel Brooks does. Agreed. My personal favorite being Young Frankenstein. Robin Hood. Men in tights for me. Blazing Saddles. You've got to remember these are just simple farmers. These are people of the land. The common clay of the new west. You know. Morons. Clueless. That whole movie is iconic. Home Alone. Fun and nostalgic for most people. Legally Blonde. Birdcage. Moana. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Step Brothers. Inside Out. I know. Hear me out. The ending of that movie was the first time I ever stopped to think about the fact that negative emotions are okay. And not something to be ashamed of. Sometimes. Having emotions validated is enough to help pull through them. The Grand Budapest Hotel. Chef. Father and son bond during a cross-country food truck road trip. Wholesome and uplifting. Bill Murray movies in general. But especially Stripes. Caddyshack. And Ghostbusters. My workmates and I used to watch Caddyshack at least once a year. Monty Python movies. Holy Grail is my number one. Too many moments like the bridge questions and the random seeger on the castle to name a few. The LOTR trilogy, but in particular Return of the King. The other two by themselves are too suspenseful to be antidepressants. Either watch all of it at once or just rock. Those movies are just so uplifting. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru